All right, folks, sit back, relax. Welcome back to another episode of Everything Goes to Zero in the Game Peace Era. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments. Today, my patron, Jerry S. Dr. Jerry says, Rudy, oh, don't look at the shield number. We're going back to Lord of the ring dings okay? And we, we are going to enjoy our stay as we crack. And hopefully today, we finally get our very first Lord of the Rings Poster serialized cards. What today's goal is, Jerry? Um, boy, do we got a lot to talk about. This video is being filmed on Sunday after Black Friday because I wanted to see. Well, is Hasbro going to hold true, or are they going to dump everything into oblivion and it all goes to zero? Oh, 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 oh! No, I thought that was like. Never mind, never mind. I got excited. I got excited. So first, let's talk about the value of the cards. So. Holy smokes, or Witch King, very nice hit first, nice little $10 card. Cavern of Souls, pack one cavern with a Witch King. Holy smokes, that's what we're talking about. That is a Surge Foil Cavern. Holy crap, that's, wow, that's a good way to start the video. Jeez, a $10 card in a Surge Cavern. So, with that being said, unless you've been living under a rock, you've started to notice that's quite a bit of, well... The uh, poster cards and cards from the second Lord of the Rings um, actually seems to be holding steady and actually holding and actually kind of going up in price. We've actually been starting to see quite a bit of movement here. And we could be seeing a situation where we have the original Lord of the Rings stabilizing. And now we have the newer Lord of the Rings, this the one I like better, actually kind of starting to have upticks. Ooh, Dark Lord. In a lot of the single cards, Frodo. And Harbinger. And that's been catching people off guard. You know, I, I just don't think anybody was really prepared for anything positive to ever happen anymore. Because oh, everything just everything just goes bad. Everything's just bad. And um, yeah, well, we're actually seeing some very, very happy state. Ooh, nice little surge foil coat. There's a nice little rare there. And holy smokes, we have some serious upticks on poster cards. With a lot of the Dr. Sorens and Mount Doom. And of course, One Ring and a lot of these things. Um, still looking for Nazgul's, obviously. I think on the other video, didn't we do a whole case of six? I think we had like three Nazgul's in a case of six. How ridiculous this season. Alright, that was a weak pack. How ridiculous is the pull rate on that? Absolutely nuts, man. Anyways. So, yeah, that's where it stands. So we have still quite a bit of cards that are over five, ten dollar range. Quite a bit of uh, Watcher in the Way. Nice little Mythic there. We got Squall, Tyrant, and a Wasteland. Always nice to see a Surge, a Foil, a little Mount Doom in the background, Wasteland. All right, not too bad. So um, we are officially halfway through box one already, a couple minutes in. We are at zero poster cards. So, Jerry, I don't know if you're allergic to poster cards. Is that what we're trying to do here? Are we trying to make sure we get zero? Is this like a new thing on the internet? Isn't that weird to get back-to-back -back cards that are the same? Battle Mace, Enemy, Commander, and a, a Season's Pass. This time a nice little, uh, that foiling is really subtle and really nice on there. Um, holy crap, is this going to be a, our first zero poster card back box? So anyway, I remain more bullish on this version of Lord of the Rings than the original version. The original version has so much hype around it. And now with that over with, Brigade. Hey, Call the Ring, and that's the Surge. It, it's amazing, like, Call the Ring's like a five, how, like, some of these cards, like, I, are, is anybody actually price checking anything anymore? Because some of the prices are shockingly not 20, 30 cent bulk priced. It's kind of like, hello, I don't know if anyone pays attention or just nobody cares anymore. I don't think anybody cares anymore. That's probably what it is. Rudy the Prize Pig, deliver. And a nice horn there, Gandalf. And a Hammerheim, capital. So weak pack again there. Three packs left to box one. We started off pack one with some spice, and uh, we seem to be leveling out pretty quickly here. I don't really know why. Are we getting... God, wait, really? No Nazgul's. No poster cards. Like, what's going on now? All right, child. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> oh, no way! Oh, I was complaining of no poster cards. Flippin' foil poster, Jerry. Box one. We don't always pull poster cards. But when we do, we only get the best poster cards. 
Oh, man. That's probably, what do you guys think? $110? $150 range? Wow. Holy crap. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that just made box one amazing. That is an amazeballs box one, man. Pack one with that cavern and some nice bunch of five ten dollar cards going right into Ancient Shield, right into a single poster card box one for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely amazing! Holy smokes! Loyal Sam, guest alliance king in the surge, and the ooh ooh Sylvan Tutor. Gorgeous. Not Surge Foyan, but Silver and Tudor at the end of box one. Oh, that was good. Box two, right off the bat. Again, folks, we are going in order on the boxes. One, two, if anyone's tracking. I know you guys seem to be all about that tracking thing for people who want to keep an eye on these larger volume uh, track printings or print runs or where, you know, if you think there's patterns to serialize cards or poster cards, if you want to track, that is what we're doing there. Box two, right into the, we're not messing around. We're not taking a taco break. We're going right into it. Look at this! Master Archer! Mm, Master Archer! Very nice. Fall. Light. Yeah, Souls of Tenders. Ah! I got, I, I'm sorry, I just cannot, I'm still, I'm looking at this card. I cannot believe box one. We had no poster cards. And then Jerry's like, Rudy, I don't need the poster cards. I just need the best poster card. And by the way, um, what were you talking about? Oh, yeah. That's not Reflex, that's like, that's not, uh, that's Master Archer. I was making fun of it, seeing I was going to try to trick some people, but I don't know if it worked or not. Alright, moving into the Thunderdome, everybody. Here we go, Weaver, Ancient Shield with Rudy the Tree, Baggins, and ladies and gentlemen, coming in with self-portrait of my middle school years. There it is, folks. Poster card number one into box two. So... I remain, I think I'm the only person that's having a good time and is positive going into next year. Well, everybody on the internet in my comment sections is pretty much just a bloodbath at this point. Um, I am kind of having a pretty awesome time, and I hope you always are too. We got a nice little horn. Ooh, Necro. And Landscape. That was a crappy pack. And I still believe that we are in the process of seeing a turnaround with Magic. I think that uh, it is starting to look like things are bottoming, if not already bottomed. And I have not been seeing any additional down ticks. Ooh, Alliance. Ooh, the burn. What did I say the burn? The brown. I was looking at the dude eating his shoulder. And we got the Siege Tower. The creepy looking Disney animatronics there. Anyways, um, yeah, we survived. I guess the biggest conversation we should talk about is the whole, uh, we went through Black Friday. And everybody expected the end of days with the Amazon dump of all the new products. And the only thing we got was we got, what, a 30% discount on Brothers War Collectors. That's pretty much the best Amazon dump closest item we got, which was an older product. And um, that was it. Everybody was expecting a Lord of the Rings dump. Everybody was expecting a Commander Masters dump. And we didn't get any new Amazon dumps. We've had the same random discounts on the older product, and that was about it. Um, we had some set boxes and draft boxes, 10 15% off. Which, that's not, doesn't really mean much of anything. Chorus. Plotter! Ah! Ah! Spiteful bandits. Very nice. Two poster cards. It's interesting how box one, we got the best poster card in foil, and we had nothing else. In this box, we've already got two. It's interesting how it feels like you get more when they're not as good. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Greatest. Press the enemy. Garrison. Chorus again. And no, uh, oh, not the creepy. I look the best part about this card is when you get it in this foil version because the silver background with his eyes just really, I don't know, the card really pops me. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, I still think, you know, looking at the Lord of the Rings, looking at the future, looking at the prices, this box online is sitting, it's actually quite stable at around like 280 plus tax, or what, 3, 310 shipped per box. March of the Ants, Colin Tempest. We got Phil Rivendell, Soul Attendant. Yeah. And um, we are not seeing a huge chunk of this product come to market. We're not seeing any dumps. We're not seeing any changes. We are seeing what everybody forgot was normal, which is prices are just, hey, finally, our first quick reflex in the video. Doors. Hey, hey, a sort of hearth and home in surge foil. That's a nice hit. Holy smoke. Okay. okay. Reflexes and a sword. Okay. That was a really good pack. Holy smokes, that's that. Okay, wow, we didn't lose money in a pack. Look at that. 
Anyways, God, really? Still no Nazgul's? Two boxes in? Press the enemy. We got Brigade again. We got beautiful Miss Queen over here in Surge. And Pact of Negation for the evil. Throwback, everybody. Anyway, I still, I've been telling you all, you know, I think everyone forgot what it was like to be in a normal market where prices just kind of sit there. You don't just buy something and double, triple your, hey, Halfling. I can't believe that's still a $5, $10 card. Nazgul Battle Mage, Rangers. Ooh, Call of the Tempest and Surge and an Elvish Harbinger. You know, it was kind of funny. In the last few days, uh, I've had patron messages starting to comment to me about, you know, Rudy, I've been a patron for years, and this is the first time I've noticed since pre-COVID that your sales are feeling like the old Rudy sales pre-2020. Ooh, ooh, storm. Non-serialized again, but we ended box two on a triple poster box, one foil, two non-foils. So go in the box three. Anyways, so yeah, I just want to comment that many patrons have been commenting like, Rudy, your pricing and everything going on, it's been, it, it, I feel like I'm back in 2019. I said, yeah, multiple patrons have commented that to me, and that's pretty normal because we went through a very goofy time with a lot of distortion, a lot of problems. Hey, finally, a flipping Nazgul. You can come at the top. You're so rare. And, well, it's, you know, it was, Aragorn, it was very, ooh, beautiful River Daughter there in Surge and Sea Shower. We went through a tough time of market distortion, prices and inflation. Every single, you know, distributors, wizards raising prices. Everything came very distorted. And, you know, people's opinion on products and prices will change quickly based on all these moving forces. I love the art of that Dark Fortress. And that, oh, 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 come on, serialize, baby. Ah! I saw the foil, like, I was like, please, serialize. And I don't think people understand that. You know, people are like, oh, really, this is great, the magic deals, and, you know, the Pokemon, the flesh and blood, the Meta Zoo, the what? I was like, look, not much has really changed. It's just, you know, we go through periods when everyone's dumping everything, you're gonna, it's gonna feel like, you know, ooh, Horizon Canopy. Ooh, that, God, I can't believe. A surge full of Horizon Canopy and nobody cares. Isn't that amazing? Like I said, your shock factor on how you're gonna feel about a product or me or the channel or the item or the box I talk about will be greatly correlated to, well, the market conditions and the swings and how much people are tanking the price or to, oh, God, this box is, ooh, Mount Doom! Oh man, poster cards for days. Finally, posters coming in, babe. I cannot believe we started this video on a one ring poster foil. Like the probability of that is just absolutely off the chart, man. What a, what a just what an amazing thing. And Baggins and and oh, Tempest Iron. Terrible pack. So I don't think I feel like I haven't done much different in I haven't I haven't done that was a terrible sentence. I feel like I haven't changed much as far as the business and the YouTube channel, and I don't feel like I've really shifted much at all. Ooh, Palantir and Surge, that's a nice hit. And Explore. I think what it is, is, you know, as the market changes, I still feel like everyone gets different vibes on products, releases, and me and the market. Because, you know, nobody's as excited to see what Rudy's saying about a box or a price when everything just goes to zero, right? There's not, there's not much to click on, and there's not much to Oh! Oh, God! Holy crap, posters! Where's our serialized? I know you tried to trick me with that one of one down there, but it's a plus one counter. Oh, man. God, Lee. The pain of no serialized for the patrons on this stupid Lord of the Rings has been crazy, man. How are we? No we had Doctor Who serialized already. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That is uh, a glam. That's, uh, that's a surge glam. That's a really nice hit, man. Okay, wow, we got some really good hits in here. Jerry, I'm not sure if you're looking for anything in particular, but we have some very, very solid hits. Remember, Jerry, um, if we get a serialized card, hopefully, you know, I will hand it off to PCG. They will grade and slab it for you. Ooh, Sam Attendant. And hopefully, Horn. Uh, ah! Shadow of the Enemy. Four pack. So, again, if we can get a, a serialized card... Um, I'll get it graded for you, and if you want anything extra graded, I'll get you a discount if you want multiple and everything like that. Remember, folks, you know if a card ever came from uh, a Rudy video, because the back will have an Alpha Investments hollow on the back of the slab case, and I will sign over that sticker for you, so you'll know if it came from an actual video. Um, besides that, if you're a patron, if you're, or not patron, if you're anybody, halfling, I can't believe that's still $10 plus in the search foil. If, you ever, if you're curious, 
on Rudy's Premier Car Green in the U.S., you can use coupon code TACOS, and you get 5% off the order. So you can send in uh, 19 cards and get the 20th card for free. And uh, give us a shot, and uh, you can experience the laser engraved labels with the best cases on the market and the highest quality that pretty much against anyone. And uh, please be patient. Our turnaround time has... Ooh, Sylvan Tudor. Our turnaround time has been... I updated the website to a turnaround time of four to six weeks range due to the increased demand of orders coming in. And the business on PCG has expanded a little faster than I thought it would. So please be patient. We're not really wanting to rush it. Ooh, very beautiful. Flame of the West and Surge. And, of course, there's another uh, Witch King in Surge. We want to make sure everything is safe and accurate for customers, but just be aware. Um, yeah, we uh, the two-week turnaround time kind of thing is uh, over with and what you want to express. <clears throat> All right, anyways, moving forward here. Um, does anybody ever stop to think what it's going to be like in, like, a year, two years from now, and all these products that everybody talked about and how cheap and it's all overprinted and scarce garbage and all this. I, I, I still, you know, these, these kind of conversations, Dark Lord, Ambush, Chain Alert, come on, baby, come on, baby, and all right, all right, all right, nice little evil spider, first first appearance there. I still, you know, I, I feel like I'm back in the old school pre-2020 normal era where people just think everyone's, oh, hey, Nazgul number two. And no, everybody just kind of bashes everything, but I feel this is this is the time to be excited about collectibles again. This is the time. Ooh, Mithril Coat and Surge. This is the time that, you know, you shouldn't have been crazy bullish in 2021. That was the peak. You know, you should have been crazy bullish in 2019 and 2020. And now that we've gone through 2022 and 2023 with a bunch of weak crap <clears throat> and negative market conditions, these are the times people should be getting excited going into 2024. And Pact of Negation, again. These are the times... <clears throat> no, I'm not losing my voice. People should be really enjoying collectibles again. The pricing is normal. Things aren't distorted. There's no money machine going burr. And you can actually enjoy the cards. Hey, I mean, even December. We don't even have... Ooh, ooh, Curio. Very nice. Even in December here. Magic and Wizards does, doesn't even have a release at all in December. Like, hello? When's the last time that happened? Like, you know, we, we, the slowdown, the changes, the print runs, the, I mean, we are, there's prices, every, there's shifts everywhere happening. And it's, <laughs> second harvest. And it's a good thing, man. And people aren't giving credit for the positive. We all love to give credit for the negative, but we're not giving credit for all these good things and these pivots and shifts that are happening. So it's very exciting, everybody. Spiteful, dismal, beautiful, beautiful River Daughter, and Surge, and Elvish Heartbreaker. Come on. God, Lee. I cannot believe this, Jerry. I think the way we're going, we could, this could end up being our fourth, I think, Lord of the Rings video. No serialized cards for the Lord of the Ring patrons. How insane is this? Ooh, glamoring again in that scroll. Very nice. Beautiful light. And come on, baby. And explore. Yeah, part. By the way, that is the great, again, Great Henge and Surge Foil. This is a monster hit! Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, some of these pools are getting caverns and great hen. Like, it's just crazy, dude. Like, it just, that just tells me, once again, how detached are. Oh, oh, our first appearance of the day. I was so busy looking at old, uh, our little Leg La Legos. What, Legolas? Legos? We got a Bowmaster coming in hot. Okay. Rider and a Call of the Ring. Ooh, nice pack. And. A foil shadow of the enemy. That was a really good pack. I, even this, even though that's a weaker poster card, I'd say it's probably 10, 20 bucks with a bowmaster. That's dude. That's that's a pretty solid. And I think I had. A, uh, didn't we have a call of the ring? Yeah, and a call of the ring. That was a really good pack. Holy smokes! It's, I just sometimes the little things are a beautiful thing, and the markets and the forces of life will take care of themselves. Company leader unleashed king and, and surge. And hey, a warship. Wow. When's the last time I saw a warship? I haven't seen that card pulled in a while. I don't even think we've gotten one at all in this video. That might be the first appearance of that card. Holy crap. All right, what do we got going on over here? All right, come on. I can't believe we could be looking at uh, no serialized again. Oh, man. Well, I guess, like I said, I think after this video, I'm down to one. Lord of the Rings video left. Oh, no, 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 wait. I sent up another patron, too. So we're only at two more of these. So if you're a patron and you're feeling crazy and you think you can break the curse of this, 
you know, send me a private message. We'll get you in the Thunderdome. We'll go for it. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right, Urborg. Actually, that's that's a pretty good hit still, even though nobody cares. I was like, if you're uh, if you're feeling lucky and you're a patron, let's get you. We're we're on the hunt, man. We're going for it. All right, here we go. End of box four. Holy crap! We're already at the end of box four. Watcher and Surge, very nice. And a ah, soul attendant. All right, folks. We are going right into box five. And sorry, Jerry, no serialized. Godly. Great video though. Man, fantastic pulls. Good amount of poster cards. We got some Nazgul's. We got Bowmasters. Then we even have one, uh, we had one uh, Lego, Lego Archer, right? Then we have one Lego. I think we had one Lego, right? Uh, God, look at the centering on that. Holy crap. Wait, all off centered all the way to the top and then all the way to the bottom. You see that in this? Thank goodness those weren't expensive cards. Big hits in the front. All right, here we go. Flame, Squall, Horn. Ah! All right, all right. Um, there's been some shenanigans with this card. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. There's been a little, uh, a little speculation on the old, uh, the old persecutor there. I'm gonna just kind of leave that there. There's been some, uh, some chitter chatter. I had some patron messages on that card the other day. So I would assume there's some, uh, some chatter on the, uh, MySpace Facebook realm. Alright, Trieth, Mary. Unleashed. Another call of the ring, $10. And nothing. I was like, people, like, you know, I got to show the story. So I had a patron. Uh, you don't have any patrons left, Rudy. They're all gone. I know, I know, I know. He caught me in a lie. So I had a patron one time, uh, a few weeks back, asked, talking about Lord of the Rings with me. And he's like, Rudy, I, I love the Lord. Oh! Oh! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen. Jerry, you just pulled the second most expensive poster card in foil. You pulled the top two. One ring... And flipping Dark Lord, both in poster foil. Holy smokes! What are the odds? You got both. Oh man! Oh, that's a hundred dollar pull. Might be more than hundred dollars by the time you watch this video. I know these poster cards have been ticking up in price. Anyways, I, I had this message from this patron saying, "Rudy, I love the Lord of the Rings, the holiday thing. I'm all about the poster thing, but I'm just not buying. It. I'm waiting for the Amazon dump, or I'm gonna wait for them to go on clearance and collapse in price." And I, and I remember responding and just saying, so what happens if it doesn't? Okay, what happens with all these products that people actually seem to, ooh, Uniter, actually seem to care about, or, ooh, Pillars, that was actually a decent little pack. What happens if these items and these sets that many people want, but people are just waiting for a deal of an opportunity to come along? And what happens if it doesn't happen? Has anybody had the conversation, another call of the ring, well, has anybody really considered the M? Oh, oh, come on, come on, baby, serialized. Ah, Tom, not serialized, though. And I keep having conversations with people, because I had this happen with the MetaZoo, the Rudy the, the Cram thing, with my family's artwork and everything. And so many pages, like, Rudy, I love what you did. I really want the promos. I'm just not, oh, oh, another poster card back-to-back. -back. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hold on. Hold Rudy's story time. Hang on. We're going in, folks. Come on, baby. We're breaking the curse. Serialized. We're breaking the curse. Ah, oh, God, it's not serialized. But holy hell, Jerry. Flipping foil again. You are hitting like every single. This is the first time we've done a Lord of the Rings video where the patrons hit every single foil expensive poster card. Like in foil. Like, I don't think. Do you all understand, Mortal Queen? Do you understand how hard it is to get some of these cards in foil? Like, I don't know if everyone's on the same page. It's like. Are we all on the same? Do you understand the difficulty to get a certain poster card in the foil version? Like, this is, we've opened, look how, look how rare the foil versions are of these posts. Like, I just can't believe, like, that's why they're underpriced. That's why the market's been repricing them up. Ooh, Witch King, very nice, $10 card. And nothing. All right, weaker pack. Still, that was a good little mythic. Anyways, that's, that's, anyways, my point was, this is what happened with my Rudy Cranier sale. Is that so many people wanted it, but nobody wanted to buy MetaZoo boxes or MetaZoo anything. And now, there's all this drama around trying to get the particular promos, because now there's barely any in circulation. And it's just, it's a, it's a weird thing when people want something, but they don't agree, or they're waiting for, the, they don't agree with the price, or they're waiting for something to collapse. It's a very... Uh, oh, oh, hammer hug. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Back. It's a weird thing 
when you get stuck in that weird middle ground of people wanting a product, but it's kind of like, well, I'm going to wait on pricing. I'm going to try to time the market, right? Right? Time the market. That's what we all want to do. Oh, Glamoring again. Very nice. A good little pack there. All right, folks. This is it. Box six of six. Jerry, uh, it's not looking good in the serialized card. Uh, the odds is just, uh, God, how do we not have one yet? You know, there's when, when I heard some other stores were like cracking like 30, 40, 50 collector boxes just to get one serialized card and they couldn't. I thought, ah, they're lying. That must not be true. They're not that difficult to pull. And now I'm sitting here going, holy crap, these things are so tough to pull. Hey, quick reflexes. Our second pull of the reflexes today. Ooh, March. Okay. Now, hey, any, right when you hit a $20, $30 card in a pack, congratulations. The rest of the cards are free in that pack. You already made it. You already made it. I mean, can't really complain about that. All right, come on. God, Lee. Like, I just, like, the more I open these and I see the rarer and rarer those serialized Lord of the Rings are, like, I just, it makes me want to go online, like, how much are these to buy? Or, ooh, 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 ah. Not regular, not foil, watcher, poster. Not foil, not serialized. Like, I just, I want, I'm going to end this video afterwards and I'm going to go on TCG Player and how much are people selling the serialized cards from this product because holy smoke ooh, Tom and are, are people pricing them correctly why are these so difficult to find like what is the deal all right come on war Rangers Rangers and second harvest Ugh, weaker pack there anyways I just you know it's a very strange time as everybody mentally tries to accept where the market is, collectibles are back to just being collectible. They're not going to double your money overnight. And now that we're back to normal, it's just so... Oh, 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 finally! Flipping th three Nazgul's in a whole case. It took our first one ring surge foil. Holy smokes, we did it, folks. Holy crap. You got both versions. See, so, Okay. Jerry, you got Surge Foil One Ring and Foil Poster One Ring. Wow. Wow. That's wild, man. That is wild. All right, everybody. We're about ending the video here, and I'm hoping... Oh, Flame. Not bad. Born. Ah, for Tree Protector. Last few packs, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the journey as we go through the Lord of the Rings adventure looking for the goodies. And, God, lay these things are tough to get. Forge a new secret fire. Not bad. Samwise and another, hey, another persecutor. Okay, so is this really going to be the next big speculative thing? That's a foil one, by the way. Is this really an underpriced thing that people are specking on? Give me your opinion below. We're 28 minutes in. There's probably just me, my ex, my mom, and uh, my wife's boyfriend watching right now. I don't think anybody's even watching. But I just, do y'all really think there's going to be some sort of spec? Hey, halfling. There's a nice 10 bucks. And Dawn of a New Age. Beautiful, beautiful Dawn. And Landscape. Not a bad little pack. So, yeah. I guess the uh, conclusion of the video, everybody. I think I appreciate you all watching. And the conclusion is uh, we did not have any major dumps and collapses in all the new products. Another half link. Jeez, $10 bills for days. Ooh, Palace in the, uh, Palace in the Clouds. Nice little card. And uh, the market in the comment section on all Magic channels continues to be a dumpster fire. And everybody continues to just be attacking each other and trolling and angry. And things are looking pretty good. That's we are these are all characteristics of a bottoming of a market. And ah not serialized. Game of the West. Oh man. That, I think that might have been our last poster card, Jerry. And it was not a serialized or a foil. I think that's probably Gandalf call. I think that's gonna be it. Last pack of the video, everybody. The very end of the 30-minute video ends with, come on, baby, a serialized surprise. It ends with a mind-blowing ending that no one's going to watch. Come on. Ah, oh, no, it's not looking good. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God, no way. No way. Tell me it's not real. Tell, oh, my God. Don't BS me, bro. Don't, don't tase me, bro. No way. Don't tell me the last pack at the end of the video in the last box. Okay. Still, okay, it wasn't the. I was about to lose it. <laughs> wow, a foil poster mount. Dude! 
What an amazing video. Holy smokes. Okay. For, I mean, Jared, you have to get... We got... You have, we, you got to send me a private message. We got to get Glam. Mount Doom. The, dude, you've got like the top four poster cards in foil. Dude, we have, you have to have the, all four of those in a series slapped. With a nice hollow Rudy logo. Dude, we have to do that. Send me a message and like I said... I'll give you one free, and then I'll give you a second one for free. Just pay for two. Man, we'll hook it up. Oh, my God. Wow, what an ending. God, only one Bowmaster. Three Nazguls in a case. And we had two Legos, right? Two Lego archers? I think two. <sighs> people are so negative. That's why people are always wrong, man. That's why most people never make money in the stock market. Most people never make money as an investor. Most collectors, they just, they don't see the long game. People just don't, I don't know what it is. It's got to be something about how we're all wired. Like, we're wired and we're attracted to certain types of drama in, you know, it's that sparks our interest in a certain direction. We, it has to be something the way we're all wired, you know? Because I, I am standing here and doing these videos, and I'm looking at these poster cards, and I'm looking at this stuff, and I'm sitting here going... And to hear people say, oh, yeah, Rudy, I love these things, but I'm, well, I'll wait for them to clap. Now, Lord of the Rings collector, when these special boxes, special collector boxes, when they go down to like $99 or $149 on Amazon dump, I'll buy in. And I'm like, what are you talking about? First of all, if this product ever dropped to even $149, $199, anything, I would literally clean sweep the market if somebody gave me the opportunity to buy this item. Lord of the Rings special boxes with serialization, caverns of souls and Nazguls and archers and bowmasters and posters and one. Are you serious? If I had the opportunity, which I, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. But man, if you could get these boxes for half, you could just crack them all and just hunt and just flip singles. You don't have to tell anybody. Anyways, life's a beautiful thing, everybody. Thanks for watching. Always remember, folks, surround yourself with good people. Try to steer clear of the things that your brain is attracted to. You know, all the jiggly uh, chicks online, all the negative drama on the other channels. Try to focus on bettering yourself. Surround yourself with good people and um, play the long game. And usually, you know, discipline and good choices long term, things will work out. You know, the key is just it's very easy to get sucked into a lot of time sink, waste of time. YouTubers and channels, watch podcasts, listen to things. That you can learn from about the world, maybe interesting science, math, finance, just learn about things that helps your perspective. And that alone will, will lead you on a better path in life, everybody. Have a beautiful day.